What's going on guys? It is now Thursday. Here I am about to head over to the venue for the Dallas Car Show. It's about 3 o'clock right now and they let VIP and stuff come in at 4 o'clock and the show ends at 9 today. So I think today is the latest that the actual show will be lasting to. I think um, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, I think they close at either 7 or 8 tomorrow, Saturday. Uh, tomorrow and I think Saturday I think it's like 6 is when they close and then they'll kick off tray night at around 6.30 or something like that but yeah I am uh, burning up right now sitting in the car uh, it is a very nice day out today in in Dallas, Texas by nice I mean very hot <laughs> it's like 100 degrees but it is cool I don't mind it it's been, it's been a while since I had a nice sunny day so I'm about to go get some Starbucks. So let's go and get some Starbucks. All right, guys, we just made it here to the venue. I'm parked in the parking garage next to the venue. So you just get out of here and then you head over. I drove by the loading area of the show in the back and it is packed. It is so crowded. It's three o'clock right now. And I think they're not even supposed to be setting up until like for but it is packed right now just got done drinking my starbucks i got uh this is my first time ever getting this it's like a brown sugar oat milk espresso shot i can't really do dairy that much you know my stomach get bubbly when i do dairy so i gotta do oat milk and it's pretty good um yeah it's really good i should have got a bigger one it's really delicious but we're gonna try to get some energy so I wouldn't be passing the out. See, I see I am so tired right now, I am not even talking right. So I went to bed at like 11 30 at night, and for some reason, 5 a.m. I just woke up. I can't sleep. So I've been up since 5, it is now 3 ish, 3 30. And we got well the show is gonna be closed at 9, so we're probably gonna be here till 9 o'clock. And maybe we might go to get something to eat. So, realistically, I probably won't even sleep tonight till like 11 o'clock or something. So, I gotta get some caffeine in. Hopefully, we got some energy. Because today, we're not setting up today. We're gonna be setting up tomorrow. Today, we're gonna walk around, try to find some inventory. And make some deals. So, let's see what happens. See you guys in there. Now, that's advertisement right there. Always behind. <laughs> Very cool. What's up? We just got in. We got our table kind of set up yet. Get the showcases out early uh, so we don't have to bring it in tomorrow. But we're not gonna set up today. We're just gonna walk around, try to make some deals. Mr. Roberto over here already spent seven grand in like 10 minutes. I don't even know how that's possible. He's just buying random stuff. But yeah, our sign's here. We're in the Tray night room. I think they updated the light. And he just got that in because it's so bright now. It used to be kind of gloomy in here. But yeah, tray night room's over here. Tray night's gonna be over here this side. Look at that. Money Mike. Mr. Get it, flip it. So here's our table. We only got two tables this weekend. Uh, so no value boxes this weekend. Those are. They're not really a money maker, but they bring people in. It's kind of like the, the the chicken that they have in Costco. You know, Costco don't really make money from it, but it brings the customer in. The toastery chicken, or whatever they call it. But here's the tree nut room. It's only about 3.40, give or take, so it's actually pretty busy, honestly. What's up, Carter? What's up, buddy? How you doing, man? So yeah, the show is pretty packed already. I am surprised at how many vendors are here so far. I'm seeing a lot of people are 
going around buying lots of vendors that are set up so far which is a strategy that we're trying to do but I guess we're too late <laughs> uh, yeah a lot of uh, a lot of money and cars are exchanging already it's pretty cool though um, honestly I didn't really have a game plan for this weekend um, I really don't know what to pick up right now I'm thinking football for the Nationals because a lot of people are picking up football right now and the more people buy football and less basketball I think the value of basketball will start going down and once basketball are going down I'll start picking it up and probably around Nationals will probably be the peak of uh, football, football cards and bottom of the basketball card in my opinion so that's what I'm trying to do and pay it up but Let's go try to find Robert again. Hey, look, sport car collector, car collector too. It's not worth it, right? So here's one of the most popular booths. It's the Hit Parade booth. They do mystery uh, repacks. They're owned by Dave and Adam Car Shop. So this is where they buy the cars to put in the mystery packs so there's always a line here basically which is, which is nice if anybody you know, want a quick cash out of course they buy a percentage and those things you see up there those are cameras that's how they are able to detect thieves and stuff at car shows. So if anybody is trying to steal, the cameras everywhere. Literally. Here they got like value. Some value uh, boxes which that's a lot that's like the type of value boxes you see at okay, nationals thank you yeah. <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> uh, so these is i think one of these tables are i think like 300 to 400 dollars and looks like he has about 12 tables just for value boxes so that's uh that's pretty insane check out card guess we got some cookies Enough to let me come behind the table and look at some of the stuff. It's always good to get a chair to sit when you're looking at value boxes.
guys so I have not bought anything yet I was in there for about three to four hours and nothing so the thing about bigger car shows especially Dallas is a lot of the cards a lot of the vendors do not price their cars um, they have a lot of inventory yes uh, apparently that's one of the reason why they don't price their cards it just fluctuates too much according to them but uh, it's just hard just to like how to look everything up and, and people that do have prices on their card it's a little bit high I don't know I don't really know what to buy right now I don't have a game plan so I guess we'll just wait into maybe Saturday or Sunday because we are set up so might as well just buy at the table but I think football is gonna be big this weekend uh, I don't know if I want to buy basketball yet maybe like the LeBrons the Jimmy Butlers the Tatums um, maybe Jochic who knows those since they're in the playoff maybe those will be the one that's more popular this weekend but <clears throat> we'll see we'll see also I only have like four hours of sleep so maybe I'm not in the right state of mind to buy cars right now so it's all right patience be patient be patient Thank you so much for watching my videos and please if you haven't yet subscribe to my YouTube channel like and comment down below it will really help my channel grow also please if you haven't yet follow me on Instagram and TikTok at G M F I R E D and I also have a Facebook page as well and also check out part 2 the continuation of this video thank you so much i'll see you in the next video fire out